What's up, y'all? It's Kirsten from Path to Summit LLC, a virtual project management firm that provides project staffing, project guidance, and creates PMOs for organizations all over the globe. When we're performing project planning and scheduling, the easiest tool to use is a Gantt chart. In Smartsheet, I'm going to show you how super easy it is to populate a project and use the Gantt view to convey your timeline and scheduling. This view makes it easier for you to rearrange project tasks and timelines live with your team. I'm going to use this Q1 Influencer Marketing Project Sheet that is a project-based sheet. So it already has the duration, start, finish date, and predecessor columns that I need. In the views, I've selected the Gantt view. With the Gantt view, as soon as I start populating my start and end dates, information is going to auto-populate right here in this window. First, I'm going to load up my dates. Next, I'm going to fill in the predecessor column because of the relationships that exist between tasks. Some can't start until others finish. Some can start at the same time as others start, so on and so forth. I'll save my predecessor's explanation for another video. When I add a predecessor to a task, it draws an arrow in the Gantt view. For example, row three is dependent on row two being completed. Within the predecessor column for row three, I'm going to hit two, press enter, and now you can see that arrow between the two tasks. Continue filling out all of the relationships in the predecessor column. Now that we have our durations, start, finish dates, and predecessors all filled out, we can see the relationships of the tasks and their dating in the Gantt window. If you'd like to show the Gantt timeline differently, Click here on the gear icon, choose timeline display, and play around with the different headings. If you have a longer project, you may want to show the primary heading in years or quarters, with the secondary heading being months or weeks. If you want dependencies enabled so that tasks move on the Gantt chart or adjusted deadlines move dependent tasks outward, click on the dependency settings. Make sure that dependencies enabled is checked. It's that simple to display a great Gantt chart to show the project team. Using this view, we can move around tasks to reflect updated timing that works better for the team. With our dependencies in place, it will move out tasks that are dependent on one another for more realistic and simplified project planning. Have questions? Comment below, we actually respond. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our Path to Summit channel for more project management tips, tricks, and software tutorials.